Evening YouTube. As you may well have seen, um, if you're in the UK, Mick Griffin didn't get to go to the palace in the end. Um, Buckingham Palace, the official residence of the British Queen, does garden parties from time to time. A lot of people go to each one. Um, I think it's a sort of few thousand that go, something, some huge number. Um, and various politicians are invited and. Nick Griffin and Andrew Bronze, the two BNP members of the European Parliament, were, ele were invited in their capacity as MEPs. Now, unsurprisingly, this annoyed a lot of people because, well, what they represent, what they stand for. Um, but the, the palace felt that it couldn't become involved in party political things like that, and so they were duly invited. Nick Griffin then went off um, and... Um, well, promoted himself a bit. He even had a thing on the front page of the BNP website asking what he should say to the Queen if he happened to meet her. Um, and so BN the, sorry, the Buckingham Palace withdrew the invitation. Um, and this has annoyed the BNP a little bit. And they've put up a, a thing on their website. I thought I'd go through it uh, and um, just add a few little choice comments. Um, the politically motivated refusal, and there's a link to this page in the googly-doo, the politically motivated refusal to allow British National Party le leader Nick Griffin, MEP, to attend a tea party at Buckingham Palace is an attack on democracy, the media, freedom of speech, and one million British patriots. Um, there's only one problem with that. Um, if it's an attack on democracy, the media, free speech, and a million British patriots, why did they still let the other guy go from the BNP, Andrew Bronze, um, the one who didn't make capital out of it, make political capital out of it? Um, was it uh, this was the reaction of Mr Griffin to the news that officials had informed him at the last minute that he was being barred from the, for the, from the party for, alleg for allegedly making political capital out of the visit by granting media interviews. The reason is invented nonsense, Mr Griffin said. Nowhere in the book of rules given to all attendees does it say anything about not giving media interviews. And of course countless people have done precisely that in the past. Well he's half right. People have given interviews to the press. Usually it's, be, it's when you know, someone who's been a school crossing guardian for 40 years has been finally recognised for their long-standing public service. They're sort of invited to the palace for, for some reason. They give an interview. So oh, it's lovely to meet the Queen. Because I've been, you know, been a lollipop lady for 40 years. Um, the point is, they're not party political interviews. They're not being used to make party political capital. Whereas what Nick Griffin was doing was saying, oh, it means the BNP have arrived, and you know all the people who are opposed to this are, you know, are the you know, the political establishment, political elite. It's rather different than, oh, isn't it lovely to be going to the palace? Next bit. This decision is an attack on the media and the right to report on the important events of the day. No, it isn't, because if the um, press had reported that he was going. Nick Griffin had kept his mouth shut and said, well, you know, I'm delighted to be invited, but I don't want to, to make a scene out of this. Obviously, I don't want to be in a position where I'm embarrassing the Queen. Um, then, you know, and he'd still been banned. That might have held true. But it isn't. Um, the, the media reported what he was doing and also reported him trying to get extra exposure in the media and trying to use this opportunity to sell his political messages. It is an attack on the right of every person in Britain to get news of current events reported by the media, and it is an attack on the one million plus patriots who voted for the BMP, Mr Griffin said. Well, no, it isn't. Um, again, the, the reason he was banned wasn't because it was covered in the media. There's nothing he can do about that. What he could have helped was the way he was deliberately making political capital out of it, giving interviews saying, oh, look, we've now, you know, now the BMP have arrived and they can't ignore us, and putting something on the front page saying, what should I say to the Queen if I meet her? That's fairly obviously party political. Um, an attack on the one million plus patriots who voted for the BNP? Well, no, because as I said, they still let Andrew Bronze go because he didn't do anything. He could have been there uh, representing the BNP. Uh, it was just Griffin. Um, 
The move has obviously been made, un made under pressure from the Condem regime, who are desperate for any reason to bar the BMP, Mr Griffin said. Now, if, that, if his assumption is that the, that the um, Conservatives and Liberal Democrat administration are looking for any reason to ban him, why was he such a complete muppet? that he went out and did this. When it was I, I should think it's fairly blindingly obvious that putting something on the um on the front page of the BMP website saying what should I say to the Queen, where you get a whole load of you know, these royalist knuckle draggers saying, Oh yeah, you know, your your majesty, you know, you've got to save your kingdom. No understanding of the constitutional settlement we have in this country. Um it's fairly obvious that's party political. Um the BMP leader, yeah, what I'm saying there is, the guy, you know, the guy has a lack of nous there. He was just so desperate to make political capital out of it um, that he shot himself in the foot. And if, if what he says there is true, if he actually believed that at all, he'd have played it a lot more carefully and made capital out of it afterwards. The BMP leader dismissed as nonsense the claim that he had tried to make political capital out of the invitation. Unfortunately, that just doesn't really fly, does it? Um... The media would of course be interested in an invitation to a BMP MEP to attend a party at Buckingham Palace. To use that natural media interest as an excuse to withdraw the invitation is a disgusting disregard for democracy in Britain. Um, which is kind of a lie really, isn't it? I've been through that. The classic one is the last sentence. The ruling elite must realise that blatant attempts at gagging the BMP always backfires. Um, bad grammar there, guys. Um, and we will emerge from these situations and their double standards stronger than ever, Mr Griffin said. Well, the thing is, firstly, it's, it's made up. You know, it's, it's a lie. They, you know, it wasn't against the BMP because they still let Andrew Bronze go. It was Nick Griffin because he was the one making political capital out of it. He doesn't understand the, the or seems not to understand the constitutional settlement whereby the, the monarchy has to remain completely above party, uh, party politics, which is why he got the invitation in the first place. And this is the guy, remember, who, when his party took a hammering in the polls in, in London recently, said oh, something like, London is lost to the British now. Well, no, no, it isn't. It's just lost to the British National Party, and bloody good too. And I, I just find it unbelievable that someone who puts himself up as a, as a British patriot, a you know, royalist and a monarchist, doesn't seem to understand even the basics of the constitutional settlement that we have in the UK, what the man monarchy can and can't do, um, and that, you know, I'm actually quite happy about the fact, but he has brought the entire thing on himself. Um, yeah, I, it's, you know, it's not a case that, you know, he's been banned because he's the BMP, it's because he was deliberately making political capital, party political capital, out, and in, out, of, out of the invitation. Um, it shows their lack of understanding and the lack of political maturity. I'm Landon Cole, and I'll see you next time.